What's up, everybody? I'm Josh Meek, the Uber Geek. Welcome to Pretty Dece, your daily entertainment and pop culture show. Today on the show, we're going to pour one out because Sony has officially confirmed they are ending production of physical Vita games. This is an end of an era. Sony's no longer going to be making physical game cartridges for the Vita. The Vita is, of course, Sony's oft-forgotten handheld. It was the follow-up to the PSP. It was released in 2012 here in North America, and it never really quite gained the following that the PSP eventually had, and it, it certainly never rivaled that of Nintendo's handhelds, the DS or the 3DS. It kind of tried to be this powerhouse handheld console, but the games ended up getting not getting tailored for handheld play. Sony seemed to want you to ask, like, why would you uh, not play this game on the handheld? It looks exactly like the console version, when really the question you were asking was, why would I play this crappy handheld version that doesn't, you know, help me out being handheld when I could just play the console version? So it couldn't really find an identity there. Unlike the Switch, which is also a very powerful handheld gaming device, it had no easy way to dock to your TV, so you couldn't bring your Vita home and just drop it in the dock and keep playing your games. It wasn't marketed in that way. It was marketed as a, a pure handheld device. And of course, the screen is smaller than the Switch. So it, it was kind of going up against these super portable devices like the 3DS and the Game Boy, but it was trying to offer you this like almost their console experience. Now, the Vita did eventually become this kind of hotbed for JRPGs and these weird Japanese games that look crazy and you've never heard of, and indie games, but, you know, that never really got it any sort of mainstream success. Uh, in, in kind of very, like, niche audiences, it became a platform of choice, but it, it never saw any sort of mainstream success by, by, you know, putting out titles like that. It never hit that critical mass that the Switch has or that the, the you know, the, the consoles from Nintendo have. So Sony has all but forgotten the Vita up until this point. They haven't really mentioned it at the last several E3 press conferences. They haven't put out any uh, kind of first party big name titles. They're just letting kind of Japanese developers trickle out JRPGs onto this thing. And, you know, it had some really great ahead of its time ideas and games. Uh, and they did make moves to try to improve the, the Vita along the way, like offering cross buy. So you only had to buy a game once and you got both the console and the Vita versions. But all of that was sadly too little too late and it never really uh, hooked people, it never really got in there. Now, I own a Vita, I even own a Vita TV, which was the later on uh, version of the Vita that was intended to connect to your television that had a slew of its own problems. And I've enjoyed owning a Vita, but I, I definitely haven't gotten the use out of it that, that maybe I, I had wanted. You know, I've played Persona 4 Golden on it. It was a fantastic version of that game. And a few other awesome games that I wouldn't really trade that time for. But it is a little sad that the Vita never really hit that critical mass. So this news today marks the end of physical Vita cartridges being produced. So um, after this fiscal year, you won't be able to buy any more new games coming out on the Vita in physical form. However, apparently digital distribution of games will continue. And interestingly, the Vita hardware, the actual console itself, will still continue to be made and sold, at least for now. But clearly, if you're stopping physical game production, this is kind of the beginning of the end for the Vita. It's actually lasted much longer than I expected it to without having kind of any support from Sony for so long. I expected this thing to be killed much longer ago than, than, than you know, in the future from now. So... One of the things that the Vita uh, kind of interestingly has become very good at is running homebrew. The, the PSP was originally kind of hacked wide open from a very early stage, and the Vita took a long time, but it's kind of gotten to that point too. It's a very easily modifiable console. 
So despite the fact that the Vita is is kind of breathing its last dying breaths here as a uh, bona fide, take it seriously game console, it might actually be worth grabbing a used Vita if you can find one cheap enough to check out the homebrew scene and also to play the handful of games that were truly, truly great on the Vita. So that's going to do it for Pretty Dece for today. Thank you very much for joining me to talk about the impending death of the PlayStation Vita. If you like the show and you want to see more new episodes of Pretty Dece premiere weekdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash show. You can also check out the daily episodes on the podcast feed and the YouTube channel at prettydeeshow.com slash video. Finally, catch me on Facebook and Twitter at Pretty Dece Show.